I'm so happy Cause today I found my friends They're in this tent And they're so ugly And that's okay Cause so are you Broke our mirrors Sunday morning Is every day for all I care And I'm not scared Light my candles in a daze cause I found God yeah yeah hey thanks for joining me I've got some work to do so these bags have already fruited once I want to show you what's going on oh got a little tape on my glove here all right hey I missed a little during harvest there's still some fruit growing on this bag I got that to coral tooth so what I want to show you though is how I prepare this bag for flush number two and keeping contamination risk at a minimum. So check this out. You get yourself some cling wrap or you could even use some wide packaging, clear packaging tape. I know Diana down at Oakhaven does that. She showed me that technique. But you wanna cover this bag, seal it back up again. Let's look at this one, for example. There was Piopinos growing off the top of this. Um, we ended up just fruiting right off the top. So I wanna cover this back up. I'm gonna take cling wrap, seal this all down, wrap this back up, and then I'm gonna introduce where I want it to fruit from. So if I want it to fruit from the side of the bag for flush number two, or on one of the ends of the bag, I will then take a clean blade, something I wipe down with isopropyl alcohol, like, like a little knife or a scalpel, and slice me a little V, or an X, or even just a slash. But you're giving it a point where it can now get um, the air hitting it, it's going to fruit. The humidity is going to cause it to start pinning from that spot that you introduced the environment to. So let me show you what I did with this bag down here. This was also Piopinos. We got fruit off this one already. I went ahead and wrapped it with the cellophane and I went ahead and put in an upside down V. So at this spot in here now, oh, here comes the fog. Let's watch it do its thing. Can you guys see all that? There we go. So that's kicking on. I'm about to step out of the tent and let it do its thing. But also, I got to go back and seal up these other bags. I just wanted to show you what I do. Some of the processes that are involved in getting this ready for a second flush. Hey, get the max you can out of these bags. If done right, it's even possible to get subsequent flushes, a third one. I've even heard of people getting a fourth flush out of some of these. Hey, catch me next time. Did you subscribe yet? Peace.